Um, all right, on to happier notes. We have someone who's new to me, uh, but he's been, he's funny. Uh, his name's Tony Tubes. Give it up for him. Okay, I heard of that thing. How's it going? Rapid City. I've never been in Rapid City before doing jokes. Hope you guys like them. So, I'm Tony Tubes. You might uh, recognize me from, you guys probably don't. But uh, I was featured on a three time now Emmy nominated uh, series called The Screen Junkie Show. They do the honest trailers on YouTube. You guys look like you're all into it, yeah? <laughs> you guys know all about that YouTube machine. That's right. No, but that, that's my claim to fame. That was my 15. Uh, no, I'm, I'm mostly just a, like a, I'm a two-ply guy living in a one-ply world. That's how I like to think. I'll tell you a little bit about me. I'm a movie guy. I like movies a lot. And uh, my kids, just for Father's Day, they bought me Star Wars The Last Jedi. How many people here saw The Last Jedi? Yeah. How many people here liked The Last Jedi? <laughs> oh, she's like, eh. Well, okay, so I found out that if you play The Last Jedi on mute and you play Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon over top of it, it still sucks. <laughs> Fuck that movie. That movie sucked. <laughs> I saw Once Upon a Time in Mexico recently. That's the new Tarantino film. That was pretty cool. Luke Perry's in that, dude. How many people here know Luke Perry is? Yeah, that's right. Luke Perry died. He died. Luke Perry's not supposed to die. That's like saying Zach fucking Morris died. Luke Perry. He still had like 34 years of banging chicks left. But no, that guy was responsible for so many girls in my school's first periods. I don't even know if that's how periods work. But I thought it was funny. Now, speaking of Father's Day, though, uh, on TV during Father's Day, they kept saying, get, him, get your dad or your husband a Menards gift card. Get him a Menards. It's the greatest fucking Father's Day gift on the planet. It's a Menards gift card. And it's like, no, it's not. That's like handing me a list of chores to do. Here you go, honey. And it's the sexist, it's the most sexist crap in the world. That's like the, that's the equivalent of me giving my wife an apron and a spatula for Mother's Day and be like, here you go, sweetie. We have fun with that. No, I got four kids, though. Four. One, two, three, and to the fucking four kids, dude. Four kids. First one's not my fault. That was my wife's from the previous. He's, thir he's 13 now. We've been together for 12 years, so... Me and them have met, you know, we've been introduced. <laughs> when it came down to us having our first child together, though, my wife says, she got pregnant, she's like, you're gonna be in there during the delivery, right? Like, she's all like, you know, you know, scamming on me and shit. And I was like, well, yeah, well, hold up. Do I have to look down there? She's like, no. And I'm like, okay, that's cool, I can do that. Because I got three jobs when it comes to, to, to delivering a baby. I'm going to hold her hand, I'm going to look her in the eye, I'm going to tell her baby it's going to be okay. Those are my only three jobs. Remember those three jobs. They're going to come up again later. So, front row, courtside, kids coming out. I don't know how many of you women in here have kids. How many women in here have kids? Or have birthed a child? There we go. How many of you did they ever flip you on your hands and knees and have you rock back and forth? Yeah, it happened to her. That was the craziest shit in the world, man. And then I'm going to tell you something about my wife. My wife is a freak of nature. She's had four kids. Still got the butt like a cheerleader. It's amazing. So when she got pregnant, it's belly, boobs, the end. That was it. That was all that, that's all that happened to her. So they got her rocking back and forth on her knees, back and forth, back and forth. She's screaming at them, back and forth, back and forth. They're screaming back at her, back and forth. And her ass is hanging out of this gown. <laughs> I'm the only one in there, I was like, it's getting a little hot in here. Just a tiny bit, you know, just a tiny bit. No, but back and forth, back and forth, then they flip her on her back, here she comes, got the fuck kids coming out, kid comes out, or wait, no, first, sorry, the nurse says, you need to come down here, you need to witness this miracle, and I'm like, no, I, don't know. I got three jobs. Three jobs. I'm going to hold her hand. I'm going to look her in the eye and tell her baby it's going to be okay. Those are my three jobs. Then the nurse tries to push my head down to look. I'm like, bitch, 
No, that's not one of my three jobs. Not a bit. Okay, pull the kid out. Then they try to hand me a surgical tool. Like, here you go. And I was like, what's this for? They're like, you're gonna cut the thingy. Like, I'm not gonna cut that, what? No, three jobs, three jobs. I'm gonna look her in the eye, I'm gonna hold her hand, I'm gonna tell her, baby, it's gonna be okay. So they clamp it, they do all that stuff, then they try to hand me my son, and I'm like, no, dude, he's gross. <laughs> Disgusting, man. Clean him up, talk him up, put him in that little toaster oven thing you showed me earlier. Oh, my boy, in a little bit. Had a hell of a day, you know? So, finally, it comes down to me sitting there, I'm changing my son and stuff, and I'm like, I'm gonna say hi to my, I'm gonna welcome my son into the world. And I say, hello, Kingston. And right when I said hello, he pissed in my mouth. Fucker. So that was that one. The next birth, my wife and me go in for the ultrasound. It's gonna be such a special day. We're gonna find out the sex of the baby. Oh my God. We go in, there's the oldest lady I ever saw in my life doing the ultrasound machine. Probably been there since the machine was invented. <laughs> and she, she goes, so what are you hoping we're having today? And I was like, well, I don't really care, boy or girl, as long as there's not two of them in there. And that was my fault. <laughs> She gooped up that belly, put it right on there, she's like, oh shit, there's two of them in there. And I, I looked this little old lady in the, in the eyes, and I shit you not, I say, you're fucked. <laughs> and she's like, no, sir, I'm, I, I'm not. And I'm like, yes, you are, you're fucking lying to me. You tell me right now that you're lying to me. Right about that time, a nurse walks in, she looks right at the screen, and she goes, did we know we're having twins today? I'm like, oh, you guys are gonna get me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start cutting people now. Jesus Christ. So yeah, twin sessions, two little, two little baby girls. I go, I get done with the meeting, and I go and I call my dad, and I'm like, hey dad, it's girls. He's like, oh, it's a girl? I'm like, no, no, it's girls. He's like, like, plural? And I'm like, yeah, twin girls, daddy. He goes, well, well how did this happen? I'm like, well, dad, I tell you, when a man and a woman loves each other very, very much. <laughs> decide to bang it out in the bathroom one day, that's what happens, you know? <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's, that's my four kids I got a little bit. Am I good? Am I good? Oh, I thought you were timing me, man. Shit. Oh, okay. Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. Five. Five minutes. I'm going to take six just because. Okay, so the other day, I got four kids. The other day, I caught vomit with my bare hands. Not a drop spilled like an alcoholic holding his beer going into the river, you know? Just, I got it. I caught it. Not a drop spill. I figured I leveled up in fatherhood. And so, I think I unlocked the rhino tank and the flamethrower. That's a GTA. That's a GTA. That's a GTA. Bro. Sorry, you guys don't know what... Okay. Anyways, I got a bucket list. I got a bucket list. Because I'm getting older. There's three things on the bucket list. The first one's not to have any more kids. I think, I, I think I, I've accomplished that with my vasectomy. Vasectomies are great, by the way. They're amazing. Yes. Yes. Have one. Even if you don't have kids, get a vasectomy. They're amazing. I can splooge on the whole planet. Nothing will happen. But the second thing on my bucket list, the second thing on my bucket list is to feel a fake boob. Just one, just one little honka, you know, nothing sexual. I just never felt one before. How many people of here have actually felt a fake boob? Lots of I envy you. I used to work at a plastic surgeon. I envy you. <laughs> nothing. My wife can be involved too. Like it doesn't. You know, I don't. I don't give a shit. I just want to feel one. Just one. Third thing on my bucket list is to have my ashes scattered on my side of the bed. <laughs> My wife, she will, she'll think twice next time she tries to hog my shit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Random sex tip for guys while you're branding your old lady. If you want to know if you're doing it okay, if your old lady looks, I'm sorry if I call them old lady, some girls don't like that. If your special lady friend uh, looks at you as if you just kicked her dog in the face, you're doing it right. You keep, keep on trying. I love that fucking joke. So, 
Okay, I, I want to cut a couple things out. Who here's a Trump supporter? Give it up for Trump, man. No, no. If anybody would have said, yeah, I would have been like, I'm going to use small words for you, bud, on this joke. But I'm in, I am in favor of a border wall. I am in favor of the border wall. And I have a plan for the border wall. And it's going to cost, carry the two, $5 million. You guys want to know what it is? Volleyball nets. Volleyball nets from sea to shining fucking sea, man. Volleyball nets. And then if the Mexicans want to come up here, they got to beat us in volleyball. I think that's perfectly okay. And if they want to bring 700 kilos of cocaine with them, I say if they strap that shit to their back and win in volleyball, come on up. I'm ready. I'll take some. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm in Rapid for a few days. First night I'm here, I go out to eat, and what do I find? A pube in my food. And it was a pube. I know a pube when I see one. Found a pube in my food, so they gave me my meal for free, gave me a whole new meal. The, the work, so I started applying this to everyday life. Cop pulled me over outside of Sturgis. He's like, you're going a little fast back there, buddy. I'm like, I'm sorry, officer. It appears to be a pube on my accelerator. <laughs> He didn't like that very much, but uh, you know, I have a nemesis. This is my last joke, and I'll be done. I have a nemesis, and he takes the form of a probably 11 or 12 year old child. And I'm gonna tell this story. This summer, my kids and I are at the pool. And there's not a lot of people at the pool, and uh, so I'm sitting on the edge, and I'm throwing the racquetball back and forth with my kids in the pool. I'm just dangling my feet in, soaking it up the sun, you know, doing all that shit. All of a sudden, some kid out of nowhere, right next to me, splashes fucking water all over me and shit. I'm just, ah, oh God, uh, you know? And so the kid comes up, and I just say, hey, man, next time maybe, you know, go over there and do it, you know? Go, go down there and do it. He turns around and swims away, doesn't say a fucking word to me. Okay, whatever. Still, same scenario, 10 minutes later. Sitting outside on the deck of the pool, dangling my feet in, throwing the racquetball back and forth with the kids and stuff. All of a sudden it happens again, and, but this time it's in slow motion. I see him out of my peripherals, and he jumps in in the exact same spot, but this time he's looking at me the whole way. <laughs> Splash! Just all over me, man. Water all over me. He comes up and I was fucking pissed. I was like, you little shit. And he turns around, doesn't say a word, and fucking swims away. My wife comes over to me at this point in time and she's like, what the hell's going on over here? And I'm like, that little fucking asshole. And she's like, who? And I'm like, God damn, fucking no. And then all of a sudden I see him. He fucking comes up like SEAL Team 6. <laughs> Looking right at me, dude. So I pinned him off the head with the racquetball. <laughs> Boom! Fucking got him right there, man. It's a racquetball. I'm not gonna hurt him or nothing, you know? Got him right off the head, man. And my wife's like, what the fuck? Are you? What is wrong with you? And I was like, I'm sorry, babe. Thought I saw a pube on his head. <laughs> Wanted to knock it off there. All right. I'm Tony Tubes. Thank you very much, Rabbit City. You guys fucking rock.